Hi, this is Stan Frohnenbarger with Vintage Performance Model Airplanes, and I want to talk to you today about a new plane we have coming out. It's uh, the T-Square. This is from the late 50s, I would say. Uh, one of the early flying wings with the vertical mount engine. Uh, we we'll have one here mocked up. It's uh, put together, uh, have a plank there, sheeted the top of it so you can see how the bell crank is in there. Uh, I built this plane from the original plans that were redrawn by Barry Baxter. So they're his redraw. Uh, made a few changes to it to make it more laser compatible, but all the parts are in the same place and all the uh, construction is the same except for the motor mount. I went with a uh, removable, replaceable motor mount that's made out of a laminated plywood uh, and it bolts in with four bolts through the middle of the plane. Has blind nuts on this, this plate here in the middle. Has blind, four blind nuts on it. And here it is. This is this piece right here. And the blind nuts go on here and then the motor mount bolts in there and then it's got these wire clips that uh, will be included in a kit that hold the tank on with rubber bands. It's got holes drilled in the side here in these little slots. You stick that in there, put some CA glue on there to hold them, and then if you break a motor mount, you just replace it. Also, when I did it, uh, I put a three, three degree offset in, built into it. So you can see that it's got a little bit of an offset in it. That helps uh, with just setting the engines up in the right offset and also the uh the way barry had drawn it he used some five eighths by half inch maple that was bolted in with bolts uh motor mount strips but uh, of course solid maple is great but it will it's kind of brittle it will break so this will be much stronger also uh i used uh light ply for the two main ribs instead of eighth inch balsa and I use light ply for this triangle piece here. And also through the middle of it, it's got a uh, 35 and a half inch, I call it a horizontal front spar that the ribs slide up on and it, it slides in this little space right here, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, makes it all make a sandwich there and, and it makes it very strong. Then I've got some eighth inch ribs here that tied all together so it should be a very strong kind of a box engine and control box uh, the bell crank bolts to that floor holes pre-drilled so you can't you know I mean, put it there and you'll be perfect it's got a quarter inch spar that runs through uh, it's also got a quarter inch uh, leading edge spar on a, a fish mouth type rib and then you plank it with these uh, with a one and three quarter inch 16th by 36 piece and what i do is i use ca glue the medium kind the thicker kind and glue it like about an inch down on top of the ribs then i stick it on there like this then i come back and, and put run glue up in there on the rest of the ribs and on the leading edge and you can just pull it down like that and it'll stay on there you don't have to pin it or anything Work work perfect on this deal here, and they I mean it stayed down good. Um, I, uh, like I said, I th these kits come with lead outs, uh, three inch sig bell crank, the bolt, push rod. Um, so it just makes a nice kit, easy to build, and pretty well just like the original. Oh, one thing I forgot, the trailing edge to make it build nice and square and quick. I went ahead and notched the trailing edge back an eighth of an inch and uh, uh, cut the ribs so they have a little tab on them that goes up in there. And so if you put slide your ribs on the front and then you snap on your trailing edge, everything's square. And it makes it, I mean, because everything's flat, if you have a flat building surface, this plane is going to be square and straight and without any kind of jig or any other kind of uh, equipment to build it. This makes it a lot easier. 
Uh, we hope that uh, everybody will enjoy these and they are available on our website. Thanks for watching.